Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a collective haul video um, from the stuff that I've gotten since my last one. Um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and get started. Um, the beginning stuff is like drugstore stuff. Um, CVS is on my way home from work. Like I walk to work and home every day and um, I'll stop in there a lot of times just to pick stuff up rather than like drive in traffic to the grocery store after work. Um, and also, like, I have coupons, and they also have, you know, like, Essie and makeup, and I can't help but pick stuff up sometimes. Anyway. Um, plus, sometimes they have good coupons. Yeah. So, um, I think I got everything with a coupon. Uh, first, I needed a new, like, nail polish base coat. Um, the one that I've had, I've had it forever, and it's like, I can't reach the brush into the stuff anymore. Um... Yeah, so I picked up the SE, and I tossed the little plastic box that it came in, so I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's this color, <laughs> and I think it was called the All-in-One Base. Um, it does a really good job of smoothing the nail. It dries really quick. Um, I've been really happy with it so far. And then also nail-wise, I got the, which is on my nails right now, is the Orly Kiss the Bride. It's like a really light, almost white, pink. So I think it'll look really good in the summer once I'm tan. It's like a really like fresh, light, pretty spring color. So the only thing with this that I've noticed is I have to put on like three coats, like at least two coats, like two to three coats for it to look good, for it to look how I want it to. Um, then also I've been using the Revlon Photo Ready Powder in light medium. Um, and this is my old one. It's just that I had hit pan, so I wanted to pick up a backup. And at the same time, when I went to pick up the backup, this one, they were having a deal for Re on Revlon Cosmetics, or just like maybe it was Revlon face products, that um, it was either buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. Either one of those. So, and then on top of it, I had a coupon for like 4 or $5 off my entire order. So these were the only two things that I picked up that day, and I had like 4 or $5 off. One of these was either free or half off. It was a pretty good deal. And I'd had my eye on this Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder in Suntan Matte um, for a while. So, sorry, like a wasp just like came through the window. I think I'm going to have like a huge nest, which I'm kind of worried about because I had one last year and they seem to have come back already. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, sorry, out of the corner of my eye, I saw this like <laughs> thing like coming at me. Um, anyway, I, I have been wanting to try this. Um, I want a matte bronzer, which are kind of hard to find, and also, um, talc can make me sensitive sometimes, especially in my sensitive spots on my cheeks. So, um, I'll get itchy if I put talc there sometimes. So, if anybody knows of more matte, talc-free bronzers, please let me know. I would love to know if there's more out there. Um... I just want to get my hands on it. So that was my drugstore stuff. Um, on Friday, um, my first ever Arbonne order came in. I got a blush in the color Merlot. They're kind of expensive. I was a little disappointed about that. Excuse me. It looks kind of dark. Um, I'm wearing it today to give myself a little color. I hardly have any makeup on today. I've been. Wait, I'm gonna open this door up. Okay. Hopefully we don't hear the train. <laughs> um, but I've been getting stuff done and getting ready for the week and like running around. It's really hot out. Well, compared to how it's been, it feels like it's like 80 degrees. So I'm just in like a shirt dress and like my hair's up. I have like just mascara and, and some mineral foundation and blush on. And this was the blush I wanted to wear, of course, because I um, haven't had much chance to play with it. But I, I do really like it. It is a nice quality product. Um, it's very well pigmented. A very light hand is okay with this and um, you can build it up. It's nice and talc free. It's talc free. So excited about that. like it so far. Um, something that I haven't, that I don't really like though, um, and I might take it back, is the Lancome. What is this? Eye Brightening All-in-One 5 Shadow and Liner Palette in Bronze Amour, number 101. I think I might take it back. I just, it's, I have not really, it's not what I thought it would be. 
Um, it looks pretty. It can be if I build it like a ton with some of the colors, but it's just, it's kind of a mess. Like it's really shimmery and um, it's just not, nope, I almost dropped it on myself. Um, it's just not my favorite. So it looks pretty, but it's not what I thought it was going to be for me. So I know that they are going like crazy though from the Lancome counter. They've been filling out of them really fast. Um, next, I picked up, and I think I may have already, no, I know I, I know I mentioned one, um, or showed you one in another video that my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess palette review, that was also, I guess I should include that in my haul, there you go, I got that since last time I did a haul video too. <laughs> um, but I picked up, around that same time, I picked up from Estee Lauder their Double Wear Stay In Place Shadow Creams, one's in Pink Pearl. And the other one is in Antique Gold. They're kind of like the idea, I think, of Max Paint Pots. They're really good shadow bases. Um, that's mostly what I've been using for. You could use them by themselves, but they're they're pretty colors. They stay well. I've been happy with them. Um, next, I've had this for a while, but um, you know, I got it since my last haul. It's the Chanel. Um, uh, this is called something different now. Soleil Tan de, de Chanel. It used to be Bronze Universal. Um, it's just a bronzer. It's a cream to powder. You can use it, either use it as a bronzy makeup base or just a bronzer like over your makeup. It smells awesome. I love the way Chanel's product smells. Um, their skincare smells great. And their like foundations and um, makeup bases smell really good too. Um, but I've, I've really been liking this. Also, this thing is gigantic. <laughs> it's huge and the lady who works at the Chanel counter that usually helps me, she's really nice, and she had given me like a, a really generous sample in one of their little sample jars that they can give you, and that now is in my makeup bag for like travel because I, I'd rather have that little small thing than this huge thing in my makeup bag. I want, this would take up so much room, so, but I really, really, really like this. Um, also in the tanning bronzing world, which I have like three products here, um, is Clarins. You know, they have really good or they're much, they're really well known for their tanning products. Um, it's the Clarins Intense Bronze Self Tanning Tint for Face and Decollete. It's a liquid consistency. You have to like pour it out carefully because <laughs> it's really like, it's very sloshy. Um, carefully onto like a cotton pad or a little cotton ball and it's, it's, does it, it it does a good job, but you have to be really careful at how you blend it and how you apply it. Um, it is slightly tinted. It's not tinted as much as the lady kind of had me believe, but you can kind of see where it's going, but make sure you buff it in really well and that you don't miss a spot because you'll be able to see it. So I don't notice a smell with this and I do really like it. This, for how much I've had to use for my face and my decolletes, really that is, and the top of my hands are the only places that I've used it so far. Um, you don't need a lot. This thing will last me. It's 4.2 ounces and it'll last, I can, it'll last me so long. I probably won't need another one of those for years or until that one goes bad. Hopefully not, but, um, yeah. Moving on quickly. Um, I wanted to back up and I'm almost down to the bottom of my Amazing Grace perfume from Philosophy. So I picked up, um, this little gift set. I wanted a smaller size bottle of the lotion that I have. So this one comes with the 8 ounce Amazing Grace Lotion. And I think I'll like this little squeeze out container much better than the little pump one that I have. I hate the pump on the big lotions. They don't, I just don't like it at all. It's like shaped weird or something. And then the a 2 ounce Eau de Toilette. And the one that I have now is a Nuda Parfum. But I thought that for the summer, um, the Toilette, the lighter fragrance would probably be okay. Especially I can layer it with my lotion. But I figure in the next, like, few weeks I'll break into that, so. Um, oh yeah. This is one more thing. Um, I picked up, I needed a new, I guess, I didn't so much need, I kind of needed a new pair of, like, summer work shoes. Um, and I picked up a pair from Ann Klein. Um, they're just a really comfortable, they are so comfortable. I haven't worn them, like, to work yet, but I wore them around the store before I bought them and they were really comfortable. Um, a pair of cork wedges. Um, they're that nude color. I think these will go with like everything. Um, I think they're so cute. It's the iFlex by Ann Klein. They have like the cork on the side, a little bit of gold detailing. 
but it's not like too bright gold. It's really subdued. Maybe. Oh, for a second there, the, the buckle part here looked kind of silver, but I think it is gold. I think it's just kind of like really subdued. Um, but they're really, really pretty, really comfortable. I like them a lot. I can't wait to wear them. They are the Aklaz Light Natural, I think. A K C L A W. I'm guessing that that's the style name. Yeah, if anybody's curious, I can look it up and see. But um, I haven't bought myself a new pair of shoes other than like a new pair of Uggs for a really long time. So I'm pretty excited about these. Can't wait to wear them. Yeah. So that's just a quick haul. Um, I do want to share real quick something that I have been absolutely loving recently. It is the L'Oreal's Voluminous Million Lashes over the Dior Lash Primer, the Lash Plumping Serum. I have it on today. That's like the only eye makeup I have on and it just, you probably can't see it in the video very well, but like my lashes in the mirror, they look like, like so much bigger than they usually are. And I don't curl my lashes, but they look like I curled them today. So I don't know if it's a combination of these or if one's meant to curl. I don't know, but these two together for me at least are really, really good. So. I'm going to go. Um, don't want this to be too long, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye.